Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And this is actually a channel I've been wanting to start for a while. But honestly, I was always procrastinating, saying to myself, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And tomorrow never came. And I realized if, if I don't do it now, I'm just never going to do it. You know, which is, as you can probably guess by the title, thrifting at Goodwill, uh, thrift stores, Salvation Army, so on and so forth. Trying to find good deals to then flip online on platforms such as eBay and Poshmark. As of now, I do primarily sell on eBay. I like to start on Poshmark. I created my account. I've listed a few things, but Poshmark and eBay, even though it's the same idea, it's a whole different platform. It's a whole different way to go about it. So I did, you know, I kind of just wanted to document my journey. I have just now started this month of trying to become a full-time reseller i've had mild you know um i guess you could say mild uh, try, i can't think of the word not luck but progress that's a better word progress i've had mild progress um i am by no means an expert on reselling ebay i've had some mild success that's the word success <laughs> i was trying to think of i haven't had much success you know but you know just after only a month of doing it you know i'm not expecting to be a grand expert but um, hopefully down the road, I'd like to be. So I figured for my first video, I would show a haul that I pulled off uh, yesterday, actually, from all, from all just Goodwill. I think I went to four different Goodwills. And I, like I said, I've been doing, doing this for about a month now. I've had some good hauls in the past, but I just haven't shown them off because I never started the YouTube channel. So I figured, you know what? Enough's enough. I got to start. So first on the list, I actually grabbed three of them, which are these i'm not sure how the proper pronunciation i think it's either eaten or eaten but you guys will see it right here this is not the most desirable brand but as of now they do sell for between 20 and 30 for each for all three of these all right all eaten or eaten are we oh sorry backwards eaten for all of them i paid about i believe it was eight dollars yeah eight dollars for each of them and they're in pretty good condition. You know, the collars are still solid on all of them. So honestly, I don't think these were ever even worn, honestly, because like I said, you can tell from a collar shirt after it's been washed a while. You know, these collars are solid. All of them are, I don't honestly see any stains on them or anything. So I'm pretty sure these were never even worn. And even if they were, they're probably only worn once. So like I said, I got them each for about eight bucks. Um, I can probably sell them for about 25, 20. That's my target area, a small little flip. And I do also want to preface that also by saying, you know, I'm not, like, I realized you're not always going to find a huge flip every single day, you know. That'd be nice to find a single shirt that you could sell for like 100, 200. It's not impossible, but it's definitely not likely. Um, but those times do happen. Um, like I said, I'm still learning every day. I'm watching a lot of reselling YouTube videos, uh, YouTubers in general. So, Speaking of which, this brand I had no idea about. I would have never looked twice at it, but because of all the research I'm doing, of all the YouTubers, this brand I'm always on the lookout for now. I, I believe it's pronounced Grimichi. And these shirts right here, just like the Ian ones, they sell this particular kind because it is a flannel shirt. Sell between, yeah, 20 and 30. And this one, actually, I believe I only bought, paid like $6 for this one. So I... Uh, my strategy for you know when I sell things, if let's say the uh, the going rate is say twenty five, right? I always put mine for like twenty four because the lower it is, the faster it's gonna sell. I've been selling on eBay actually, the platform for about a year, but I'm just now focusing on clothing because you know my eBay in, in the past has been all over the place, nothing really steady. So and I'm real and I like to get into clothing, which I am now. So another brand that once again. I just I just recently found out about is uh see if you can see it there vineyard vines or vineyard vines um this particular shirt as well it uh, sells for just like the uh, previous pile there between twenty and three depending on condition because this one the collar has definitely you can tell this shirt has definitely been worn the collar is not what it once was so this one is definitely more used than the other three um as was the Grimichi that that collar like I said it's <laughs> these uh the Grimichi and the, the vineyard vines. I've definitely been worn before, so that might bring down the value a, a bit. But this one in the Grimichi, I plan to list maybe around 20 $19.99 in that area. Should be a decent sell and a decent flip. Um, one of the more exciting ones that I got, though, from that haul was, and I'm going to butcher this name. I've seen every YouTuber and reseller butcher this name, so I, I'm going to be no different, which is uh, Ermin Gildo Zegna. <laughs> like I said, I believe I'm pronouncing that horribly wrong. But um, this is a... Uh, a bit more of a desirable shirt, much more higher quality, 
these shirts tend to go for between the 30 40 area as opposed to 20 30 but um like i said for me i'm in no rush i'm not greedy if the going rate for these types of shirts are 30 40 i would definitely put mine like at 30 unless it's like there's something unless like there's something extremely special about it like it's got the tags on or something like that but on um, this shirt i said the collar it's solid this shirt just like i said with the other ones i don't think this shirt was worn that much um if at all so i'm definitely gonna have a good time selling that one or trying to flip that one and next was once again another brand that i had no idea about i had no experience with it i would have never looked twice at it but thanks to other resellers on youtube have made me aware of it which is a sims shirt this is a fishing sh uh, product shirt and these also just like the previous shirt go for between 30 and 40 depending on condition um the condition is not great but it's not bad either like i said the collar it's yeah you can definitely see it uh you can tell even by touching it it's been washed <laughs> a few times but it still holds, holds a decent value so a nice little flip there and also uh this shirt and the zeg zeg uh, like you know what shirt, you know what shirt i'm talking about um i paid about six dollars for both of those so the, assuming that they sell for 30 in that area i should have a decent little profit there um now before i get to the next one actually oh, i left it on the other side hold on because i knew i was missing one uh this brand as well also it's another reason why i'm uh, i'm glad i started watching more resales on youtube because i never would have thought twice or even looked at it twice is uh patagonia that is i did not know i just list okay all these shirts right now that i'm showing you i listed them yesterday at night just, just before going to bed and this short uh brand i'm sorry has i've already gotten people asking me questions messaging me about measurements and everything um so i the more i see of these the better the more i see patagonia trust me i'm going to grab one every time i see it um same idea these sell for in the for, actually these go for a bit more depending on what they are this is actually a jacket a, a reversible jacket actually fleece on the outside uh i'm sorry fleece on the inside uh, zipper down so yeah so like i said you wear it inside out and of course because we're getting closer to the winter time these uh jacks will become a bit more in demand camo on the outside but uh yeah so these tend for you know it is a smaller size so i think it's for a child because it is a bit small um i these I, I would think they go for about 40 and 50 but um like i said the value is going to go higher because we are getting closer to the uh the winter months but um next now i don't like i said i go back and forth between all of my stuff that i sell you know whether it be clothes or whatnot and because i saw this and i know that these go for a decent amount i grabbed a uh, jingle bell rocking santa uh, i paid about ten dollars for this and from what i know they sell between 40 and 50 you know so I, that, that actually right there was a decent a decent find but without a doubt the biggest find for me yesterday would have been this uh and, and i couldn't believe it when i saw it but it was a let me see if you guys can see that right a versace couture uh coat men's coat and i was completely thrown back i couldn't believe that i had found this in a goodwill ten dollars now i'm going to do a bit more research on this because i don't know the exact value i'm, I'm going to do a lot more research before i price this on ebay or poshmark for that matter but um yeah that that one had me without a doubt the most excited but um anyways that was uh pretty much my haul from yesterday oh i'm sorry i completely forgot yeah almost passed this up a uh converse chuck taylor leather shoe uh pair of shoes these also go for about around 40 and 50 depending on condition the condition honestly as you can see it's not that bad they were um they don't have any shoelaces in them but i could easily just, just go buy it like at walmart or something for like a dollar fifty or so um got them for about 12 dollars. those also like i said they're still for between 40 and 50 so all in all everything i grabbed was actually a pretty good day um you know so all i gotta do is put them online list them and see where it goes from there but um anyways guys i want to say thank you for watching this is just the first video of many to come and like i said i'm learning i'm sure you guys have probably seen some of this stuff before maybe you guys have an opinion let me know guys how you think i think i did um uh, for me personally i think I, I like to think i did pretty well but um, anyways, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll try to do more of these videos as I can. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the channel. Um, if there's any mistakes I made, if there's anything I overpriced or underpriced, definitely let me know. Like I said, I'm still learning. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See you later.